Let's go over how you can create a glow effect using Adobe Illustrator. So getting us started here, the first thing you'll want to do is create a dark background to put the glow effect on top of. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm just going to create a rectangle in the size of the canvas over here. And I'm going to make this black and I'm going to fill this in with a radial gradient. So I'll come over here to my gradient tab. If you don't have a gradient tab, just go up to where it says window and look for where it says gradient and it'll pop open once you select it. And I'm going to choose radial gradient. And I'm going to change the color of this radial gradient over here. I'm going to double click that stop right there and change this to a dark shade of red. Something like that. And that'll serve as a nice backdrop to put the glow effect on top of. So now I'm going to create some text to apply the glow effect to. I'm going to grab the text tool over here, click on the canvas, and I'm just going to write glow effect. And I'm going to change the color of that text to white. And I will place this on top of the image here. Let me center that up actually. And now to apply the glow effect, all you have to do is go to Effect, Stylize, and select Outer Glow. And from this menu here, you can choose a color for your glow. In my example here, I'm going to go with a shade of orange, maybe a little more with a little more yellow in it. That looks better. I'll click OK. And now we have an updated look here. And you could change the blend mode over here. I think by default, it starts you out at normal. So it just looks like a regular Gaussian blur. But you can change it to these different uh, blend modes if you want to try it out here. I noticed with this example, hard light seems to look best. So I'm going to leave it there. And you could change the opacity of the blur as well. I have mine brought up to 100%. If I bring this down, you can see it becomes less visible. If I bring it back up to 100%, it's more visible. And then the blur over here, this just determines the size of the glow. If you make it larger, it spreads and covers a larger area. And if you make it smaller, it shrinks down and covers a smaller area like that. And once you're finished, you can just press the OK button to finalize the changes. And there is your glow effect. Now, if at any point you want to edit that glow effect or even remove it, all you have to do is go to your appearance menu. So come up here to where it says window and go to where it says appearance. And mine opened up on my other monitor. Let me grab that. There we go. And what we're looking for, hold on, let me select the object. There we go. You have to select the object first and where it says outer glow, then you can click on that. And now you are right back to where it left off when you applied the changes. Join the Logos by Nick mailing list and get over 200 free design templates, including logos, avatars, textures, infographics, and more. As a member, you'll receive news, updates, and tips about your favorite design apps. Just use the link below to subscribe for free and download your templates. As always, thanks for watching.